Hi, and welcome to Pluptography. My name is Patrick, and today we're going behind the scenes of an image that I took of the new Ahsoka from the Ahsoka Wave number 650. So what I wanted to do is first kind of give it a kind of darker kind of look. I really loved how this particular pop, uh, we have Ahsoka with her kind of cloak or cape blowing in the wind. So I wanted to kind of give it something a little more moody, a little darker. And I chose this image of like uh, kind of she's on rocks and there's these big cliffs and mountains uh, behind her um, and this kind of darker. So I wanted to choose something more like that. It kind of fit with the blues and the grays of Ahsoka as well, tonally. So I chose that image to be my backdrop and my virtual backdrop. Then we put Ahsoka on the set. Um, I actually did have it on some uh, actual practical rocks and stuff, but I ended up not really using it because I really want to concentrate more on Ahsoka, the cloak, her stance. So we started with uh, actually a little differently. Instead of just starting with the main light, I actually started with a rim light. So I started with the rim light on the left side of Ahsoka. And as you can see, that's kind of coming from the right, that left side there, lighting her up, giving a little more separation from the backdrop. I then added my second moon cube. Again, it's a rim light from the opposite side of Ahsoka. As you can see, it's starting to carve out the character itself. Just from the two sides, you're getting more of that shape of Ahsoka. For my third loom cube, I actually had my boom again with a diffusal dome on that coming from the top just over it. And again, I wanted to get some more detail on that cloak and everything because it's such a great little sculpt that they gave this pop. So for the fourth loom cube, I actually used, which would be typically my main light. Um, I have that off to the left on the 45. As you see, it lights up Ahsoka from the front really kind of being the main light. And now the other separation light doesn't seem as strong. Um, it kind of edges out um, and really kind of fits more to the image and tone. And then just so I can get a little bit more because we're gonna have those lightsaber effects in the front um, to help sell that and also give a little more fill in the front of Ahsoka, added another uh, fifth loom cube with diffusion on a snoot coming across from the side there in the front. And that's what gives us that nice little carve out there when she has those lightsabers lit. Then simply just kind of did a little more underexposure, brought this in an image into Photoshop, um, played a little with the levels, um, vibrance, and I think my backdrop I brought in, uh, put a little more uh, out of focus with uh, more of a lens blur that I could do in Photoshop to have a little more control over it. And basically that was it for the final image for this. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please hit the like, definitely hit the subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Poptography. Until then, may the force be with you.